If you're only talking about the fishery, then the sea lamprey is the worst invader that we, that we have so far. Uh, because the sea lamprey took out the lake trout fishery, they would have taken out the whitefish fishery. And if they didn't spend $20 million a year controlling them, we wouldn't have salmon, lake trout, or whitefish. If you're looking at the whole ecosystem, the quagga mussel is the worst. Um, the reason being that uh, the quagga mussel changes the ecosystem from top to bottom, or from bottom to top. Um, they are uh, disrupting the food chain at the very base of the food chain, uh, and the result at the top of the food chain is smaller fish. Um, they're also uh, causing these uh, nuisance algae blooms, which trigger these uh, uh, botulism outbreaks, which have killed uh, over 70,000 water birds over the, over the past decade. Um, lots of fish have, have died from these things. They make the beaches unsafe for human contact. The quagga mussel is uh, sort of like uh, a zebra mussel on steroids. Uh, everybody thought the zebra mussel was the worst thing that came into the Great Lakes, and uh, the quagga mussels are far worse, and they're actually driving zebra mussels out of the lakes. There's over 300 trillion quagga mussels in Lake Michigan alone. So just imagine, you know, each one of those mussels filtering a liter of water. Um, so when they filter the water, they filter out the plankton, the water becomes more clear, sunlight penetrates deeper, and uh, you have essentially a larger field for algae to grow on the lake bottom. Um, when the winds kick up and the waves kick up, it rips the algae off the lake bottom, it washes up on the beach, creates an anaerobic environment, and for reasons that scientists don't fully understand yet, it releases this, this type E botulism. Um, the, the botulism uh, concentrates in the muscles, uh, but they're not affected by it because they have no neural system. So they concentrate the toxin then the round gobies come in and eat the mussels. The round gobies are another invader. Um, they eat the mussels. They do have a neural system, so the fish become paralyzed and swim in circles, and then they become an easy meal for birds. The birds eat the fish, their muscles become paralyzed, and their heads fall in the water and they drown, and then they wash up on the beach. The quagga mussel is really uh, changing the lakes in, in profound ways. Uh, you know, it's changing the water chemistry of the lakes. Um, it's, uh, it's reducing the biological productivity of Lake Michigan and Lake Huron to uh, levels that are comparable to Lake Superior. And that's a very bad thing for the fishery in Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. Because, uh, you know, even though Lake Erie is a fairly clean lake, it's not very productive because it's so cold and so clear. And that's where Lake Michigan and Lake Huron are, are headed.